Welcome to another episode of Silence is Golden. I'm Simon Kelly. And I'm Troy Dean. And we have an absolutely packed in show for you today. We'll be taking a look at our topics from Black Friday deals. Uh, we reveal some new branding uh, for our Mavericks. Uh, Jin is on a mission to keep us all healthy. Seth Godden teaches us the profit principle and who we should really be selling websites to and who we shouldn't. And we've got a special giveaway for those that comment on the show. Stay with us. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Welcome back mm. to another mm. riveting, action-packed, content-packed, strap-yourself-in kind of show. That's here. right, exactly. Silence yep. is golden. This, it's been like a year now. We're not up to episode 52, but what? it's been really? like a year of SIG. Bullshit. Yeah, well, really? not quite. We're up to 44, which 44. is pretty awesome, but we had a couple of negative number oh, we episodes. Did. Yeah, that we started just, at minus 10, didn't we? I don't we? know what was yeah. happening on those ones. We started at minus 10. Did anyone 10. know what was happening? No idea. Yeah. I no idea. I still don't know what's happening. Yeah, exactly. And but there are eight people ooh, watching the show. That was a potential good segue right there, but that's oh. fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Did I cut you off? Well, no, no, about what's happening. Oh. So, you know, oh. let's see if we can figure out. Oh. Hmm. What's happening here? This is the segment where the entire company spends a week <laughs> putting together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. You got I it? haven't even finished the gag <laughs> yeah. and you've lost it. The entire company spends an entire week. Uh, this, this, this segment costs the company about 20 grand a week, I reckon, because mm -hmm. the entire company spends an entire week putting together a whole bunch of stuff just to make me look stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this week was a bit more expensive as well, actually. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Even better. <laughs> So the, if you haven't seen this, this segment before, what happens is the, uh, the team bring up a, an image here on the screen and he knows what it's about. I don't. I'm supposed to, we're Sometimes. supposed to pretend that he doesn't <laughs> no know what idea. it's about. Yeah. And we're supposed to guess what it's about. Last week we tried to do this, uh, well we did do it, and we tried to run some Facebook ads to the uh, segment and the Facebook ads got banned because one of the thumbnails was of a brick smoking a joint <laughs> which was a reference to Elon Musk, of course, on the Joe Rogan podcast. And Facebook politely tapped us on the shoulder and said, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't promote recreational drugs. Mm. I said, we're not promoting recreational drugs. We're promoting the Joe Rogan show, mm. if you actually bothered we're to watch it. We're promoting graphic design. Mm, but they weren't interested. Mm. So anyway, um, Max, is gonna, Max is telling us to get on with it. Max is going to bring something up here on the screen, and we're going to have a bit of a guess as to what's going on here. What's happening here? Um, just read out what you see. What are Cards you Against on? Humanity, okay. a, a $20 bill, 99% uh, off, a $20 value, legal tender for all debts, public and private, an unbelievable $19.80 in savings. Stay tuned for more incredible deals. Cards Against Humanity. So I reckon someone is selling a, $20, a fake $20 bill for 20 cents as part of a Black Friday deal. Woo, you're pretty close. Pretty close. Was that, was that a red light? Is it's that a red, red light? Yeah. Because it's um. Okay, is it a Cyber Monday deal? No. No. Oh. There was one key part that was not quite right. This is, you get one more chance and that's it. What do you got? Cards Against Humanity. Check. W worse selling. Mm hmm. Um, a real $20 bill. Mm hmm. For 20 cents. Mm hmm. Uh, and they sold out at 3 o'clock a.m. as part of Black Friday. Yep. Bingo! Is that right? But there's more. There is a lot more. Um, so Hang on, let me guess. There was only one on sale. Yeah, yeah, there's only one on sale. But if you go over to your computer and click on Safari, you oh, can see this there's is... a lot more. Oh. So have a scroll through. Have we got, can we, can we bring this up? Oh, All right, here we go. So what we've got here. 99% off sale. Um, so there's a $20 bill for 20 cents, a life-size Orlando Bloom cutout. So just scroll down. So that's the main box, but keep going. That's like the thing they're promoting, which I don't know how they're going to get money back with a $20 box, but wow. keep going. Normally 2000 <laughs> right. We took We took peyote and wrote this. <laughs> keep going. There's, there's, Fantastic. There's $20 bill for 20 cents. An 85-inch Sony... 4K Ultra HD Smart LED TV for $34.99. Keep going, keep going. This is a 17th century Italian Halberd for $18.50. A life-size Orlando Bloom cutout 
for 75 cents. Oh my God. <laughs> a red Ford Fiesta yeah. for 97.50. Are these genuine? Yeah. Yeah. So they say, is a this A presidential real? mahogany <laughs> casket for 30, I want that, for $31.99. A one good. and a half carat lab grown diamond engagement ring for thirty two dollars fifteen. Yeah. Are you serious? Just rant, like scroll, power scroll, keep going. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, what's this? Bill Bill Pullman. <laughs> yeah. Bill Pullman's actual flight suit from Independence Day, thirty nine ninety five. Holy hand. shit! A hundred dollar bill for a dollar. <laughs> it's unbelievable. A five day vacation to Fiji for seventy one dollars sixty. That's Are a- these genius? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What does it feature? A great idea. You deserve it. Long plane ride. Come to Fiji. <laughs> so they have one of each, right? Yeah. How much did this cost them? <laughs> Insane amounts of money. Insane. So in the FAQs, they say, is this real? Yes. All of these products are actually available for 99% off. And if you purchase something, we will actually ship it to you. Surely you must be losing a lot of money in the prom- in, on this promotion. Oh dear, yes. This is a financial catastrophe for our company. <laughs> A Herbo Dagobert <laughs> toilet throne for $101. That's right. I so want one of them. Well, you can't have one, mate. You know, you know <laughs> this is one of those <laughs> things that you don't even know you want until you see it. <laughs> the Herbo Dagobert Ring a bell. toilet. It's got a bell. I didn't even know that that thing existed, but now I want one. I'm upset that I don't have it now. Thank wow. you so much. Oh, my Lord. This is remarkable. See that eagle is enormous. I could just stay there for a sec. Oh, an inflatable eagle. <laughs> this eagle is eagle. going to be a problem if you buy it. <laughs> this eagle is going to be a problem for you if you buy it. Absolute unit. Oh, my God. This is remarkable. A butter churner. Did anyone, what, anyone watching, did anyone buy anything from the uh, 99% off sale Care of Cards Against Humanity? Did anyone buy Score anything a sweet deal. from Cards Against Humanity. If you did, please leave us a comment under this video because we want to publicly ridicule you. Yeah, I'll buy it off you, actually. There'll be no ridicule. <laughs> oh, wow. Guitar signed by Jimmy Carter. Didn't know he was a guitar player. $23. Wow. Inflatable bubble camping tent. That could have come in handy last weekend. Don't look That's, at me. Look at What's that. Check that out. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. 600 live <laughs> ants. Read, read, read that. 700 ants, too many. 500 ants, not enough. 600, just the right number of ants. <laughs> what is this? It's like, what, what do you oh, think my, the Look at the is Emperor here? Workstation yeah, yeah. for 70 bucks. Overwhelm your senses. Alienate your family. You've been in this chair your entire life. Wow, that is sensational. What's, Good work. Cards Against Humanity. What's the play here, do you think? What, what are they doing? Um, what can we learn from this? Well, I think they're just trying to produce something that goes viral. Yeah, well, it went, it's on TechCrunch. And well, here we are. Basically. I mean, it's on Silence is Golden. So it worked, didn't you it? You made it, guys. TechCrunch. You made it. TechCrunch, Smek Crunch. It's on Silence is Golden. Exactly. Hey? Whew! There Fantastic. Go. Good work. Well done, Cards Against Humanity. All right. What, what's, what do we got next? That's fun, though. That was fun. This way. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> wow. 20 years old, ISS. What's ISS? Apart from, Kev- apart, from, <laughs> apart from Kevin Hutto's introvert selling system, what oh. is ISS? Hello, Kevin Hutto, if you're watching, by the way. Uh, he's got a thing called the introvert selling system, oh, ISS. Uh, ISS, 20 years old. Yep. Um, the International... Space Station. Bam. International Space Station, 20 years old. Yep. Right. So the International Space Station had a birthday. It's 20 years old. Mm-hmm. And... Somebody got hold of Photoshop and a couple of astronaut costumes mm. and put together this, uh, this, um, this graphic. Did Ben do that? Of course. Oh. I never see these until oh. Oh, the good ones. <laughs> I don't see So, well, here. the International Space Station turned 20. Is that the news? That's the, that's the news. Is that, there, is that there's what's some here? more things, some more facts for you, but um, facts. I'm going to give you the green. Oh, for that thank one. you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, it um, marks the 20th anniversary since the launch of the space station. Uh, and since the first component was um, launched into space, which is pretty cool. Uh, so a couple of facts for you, real quick, yeah. about the ISS. Yeah. It travels at five miles per second. That means that it circles the um, Earth once every 90 minutes, Right. which is insane. Mm. It's 109 meters long. It's, a most, it's the single most expensive object ever built. The cost of the ISS has been estimated to be 120 billion, which is just insane. 
single most expensive thing ever. I didn't, you know, sign my money to go into that, but that's fine. Um, there are two bathrooms on the, the station. The urine of both the crew members and laboratory animals is filtered back into their drinking supply. Um, it is the third... Hang on, hang on, hang on a second. <laughs> no, no, just we'll back just up a second. Over that one. Just back up a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say that again. Uh, don't you do that at home? Say that again. <laughs> um, so there are two bathrooms on the station. Is that the part? Yeah. Yep. Um, the urine of both the crew members and laboratory animals is filtered back into the station's drinking water supply. So at least the astronauts will never get thirsty. The urine of both the crew and the laboratory animals mm -hmm. is filtered back into the drinking supply. All those I, ants. Have, I have one question about this. <laughs> yeah. Why are there laboratory animals in the International Space Station? Well, you've got to have some company. Oh, they'll be making them do stuff, no doubt. They're running experiments on rats in outer space. Yeah, yeah. See and then drinking, does. drinking their wee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're running experiments on humans. The effect of rat wee on humans in that space. That is messed up. Let's build a hundred and twenty billion dollar space station, experiment yeah. on some rats, and then drink their urine. Yeah. That just sounds like a bad German fetish movie. Yeah. Bad? What's or a bad, good bad? German yeah, fetish yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. depending on how you like it. Yeah. That is messed up. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, fantastic. It's the it's the third brightest object in the sky after the moon and Venus. I've lived a I sheltered life. That. Yeah, 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 that's it. Um, oxygen come. I didn't. Oh, this I thought was amazing. It, in, oxygen in the ISS comes from a process called electrolysis, which involves using electrical current generated from the station's solar panels to split water mo molecules into hydrogen and oxygen gas. Is that, uh, is that, they create is that, oxygen is that, in there. Is that um, electrolysis? Sure. Well, Ele electrolysis. All right. I think, Sorry, mate. You've got to have the emphasis on the right side. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I think it's electrolysis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there you go. Where's Matt Dunn? <clears throat> He's, I think, on the left. Is he growing potatoes oh, somewhere the out the back? Floppy the floppy disk. I didn't see them before, Ben. Thanks, ah, mate. What are the so floppy disks? So they found floppy disks in the cupboard, and they're like, what the hell are these things? Right. Who 3D printed the save icon? Right. <laughs> wow. There it is. <laughs> yeah. um, I, if, look, there if it my is, money mate. is on giving someone $120 billion to run experiments in outer space, I'd give it to Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He'll be drinking. After he smoked the weed on the Joe Rogan <laughs> He'll podcast. He'll be drinking wee for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Cool. There you go. All right. <clears throat> what do we got next, Max? Hey, there we go. That's me. Yeah. Where was that photo taken? Um, well, that was on the set of Top Gun 2. Oh, nice. Very few people know this, but um, Tom Cruise was actually my body double mm -hmm. on, uh, on Top Gun 2. Yep. So Tom basically just did the speaking bits because his accent's better than mine. We get yeah, a North yeah. American audience. People aren't so. ready for your accent. But all the real acting I did. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so this shot was taken on, I think it was the first day of, of filming yep, on nice. Top Gun 2.0. Goose is doing well? Goose is dead. Yeah? yeah. Oh. Not the, act, not, not the actor, just the, <laughs> just the, the character. Is so, that a spoiler alert, is it? No. no, no. Oh, didn't um, he die on the first one? Yeah, he did. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Goose is dead. In case His ghost makes an appearance though, so in 2.0. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so what is happening here, though? Well, like, I think, I reckon this all is all the that fact that... Business. I reckon this is the fact that... Uh, I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark here. Sure. We have just released new branding for the Mavericks Club. And that's what I reckon is going on there. Woo! That's Woo! it. Well done, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that a segue? It is. Not, not a, not a stand-up bike. Or, <laughs> no, no. No, but it's an actual segue. It's an actual segue. Cool. We'll so take I'm, a look and see so what it's like. So let me. I just like. a bit of a bit of a backstory no, no, here. Context. Ben, Ben, Ben Skeepers, our in-house uh, graphic designer here. Yeah. Uh, has been working over the last couple of months on the new branding for the Mavericks Club, which is our high-end mastermind program. And uh, he, over the weekend, he decided that he wanted to learn how to use After Effects. So he, just on his own free time and of his own free will, he spent the weekend, uh, like most of us, indoors in front of a computer, because he's a geek like the rest of us, learning how to use After Effects mm. and put together this amazing video showcasing the new Mavericks branding, which I think we're about to play right now.
I've got to tell you, the money shot is those two planes at the oh, end yeah, yeah. flying around like... Uh, there it goes again. Like, uh, there we go, there's the replay. Yeah. Uh, flying around uh, like, uh, like Maverick. Like you and Goose, basically. Uh, like Maverick and Iceman. Yeah, yeah. Flying around and then landing in the... That's fantastic, isn't it, hey? Good. Nice one, Ben. Great work, Ben Skeepers. Uh, yeah. And that is the branding for the new Mavericks Club. Yeah, it's looking awesome. Mm, it is. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to know more about the Mavericks Club, just email support at wpelevation.com with the word Maverick in the subject line and our magic machines and robots will take over from there. Awesome. Bit of sorcery in the background Someone there. just like us on Facebook. There we go. Look Ooh. at that. Someone just, lap, just went up from zero to one. 13,181 people like us on Facebook now. Max is convinced we've got a hater, by the way. Max is convinced. It's him, that's why. Max is convinced that every time we go live, somebody <laughs> unlikes us on Facebook. <laughs> Immediately. And that goes down. Oh, the red. <laughs> Max uh, Rage. But, uh, Max Rage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, today it's gone up, which is good. We've been stuck in the 13,100s for a couple of weeks now. I'd like to get that up over 13,200, please. It? Yeah. Kids. The hardest part um, of that day is stuck in this number. Go. Oh, it hurts so much to look at it. <laughs> it's like a blown up Xerox. Uh, what, what else is going? What's next? Yeah, so what, what, what we... as... This is a hard one to segue into, but let's have it a go. Have a go oh, at it. This is, this, is the, this is the gin thing? This it is. is. I can yeah, do this yeah. if you like. Oh, go for it. I can do this if you like. Yep. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. It's just gone up. So, uh, Ginny Mack, who works with us here at WP Elevation, in fact, she is the... She is employee number one in Australia. She is employee number, actually, sorry, that's not true. She's employee number three in Australia because myself and my business partner, Brian, have been working in the company since, it seems like, 1978. Uh, she's employee number three, uh, the first full-time hire that we made here in Australia. Yep. Of course, we had before that, we had Michelle and Jay working for us in the Philippines. Uh, and Jin is, a lot of people, a lot of people don't realise this, but Jin is an ex-PE teacher. Mm. And is very passionate about well-being overall, physical and mental well-being for our audience. And so she is putting together some content uh, to roll out next year uh, to hopefully roll out a well-being program for our audience. We know that a lot of our audience work in isolation or in um, in you know environments, maybe working from home or at a, a small co-working space under the headphones, and don't have a lot of interaction with other people, and that can affect your physical well-being. Spend a lot of time sitting down in front of computers, and it can also affect your mental well-being. So Jin is putting together some free content to help our audience become well or you know, more well, physically yeah. and mentally. Mm -hmm. So, here is a sneak peek at some of the content that Jin has been working on. Hey! <laughs> As freelancers, we're at our desks a lot. More than six hours a day, and I'm sure it's up to 10, sometimes even 12 hours a day. Now, we all have read things about how you need to get up every half hour and take a break, and I know how hard that is. But today, I just wanted to give you a couple of stretches for some bad habits that you may have got into without even realising. So these will only take a few minutes each day, and even if you did this once or twice a day, forget about every half hour, let's start small, it will make a big difference. <laughs> The phone shoulder might be one of your bad habits. Here's how we remedy that. Nice and easy, just sitting at the desk and rotating your shoulders backwards for about three to five. Nice and steady. And then forwards the other way for about three to five. If you're finding your neck's quite sore, just a really gentle stretch, pulling gently over to one side, holding for about five to 10 seconds and then the other side, same thing, five to 10 seconds, will definitely help with that phone shoulder. Slouching at the desk is something we are all guilty of from time to time. So here's a few stretches that will help with that. So you've been slouching and you can often feel it in your neck, shoulders and lower back. All you need to do with the slouching is lean forward. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if you can sort of hold your stomach muscles in, and then bend from the waist and really reach those arms forward. Hold that again for about five to 15 seconds, ideally about 15 if you can. And then once you've done that, come up and reach up nice and high, palms interlaced, point it up at the sky and just stretch as tall as you can while it feels just a little stretch without feeling too uncomfortable. And hold that for about, again, 15 seconds if you can. 
then give it a shake out and that will help those afternoon slumps. So working at your desk, you think it might be all about the upper body, but your lower body actually gets a little bit sore and tight as well. So let's not forget about that. So a couple of easy things that again you can do at the desk. We're going to now go down and do a hamstring stretch and you can feel this one straight away. So basically sitting down, legs straight, just a little bend and reaching down to your toes. Now, not everyone is as flexible as each other. So what you just need to do here is you can have a slight bend and just go down as far as you can. So if you can only reach down to your shins, do that. If you can reach down all the way, even better. And you should feel this in your hamstrings at the back of your legs there. And the second exercise that you can do for that lower body is this is sort of knees and hips, is again sitting at your desk, just pull your leg up, and holding it in. So just as much as it feels so you can feel a slight stretch without being too painful. Hold that again for about 15 seconds. And always remember to swap sides. So that is a wrap my friends. Next time you're working at your desk and you feel a little pinch here or there, remember these stretches. It'll take two minutes max. Give it a go and you'll be feeling a heck of a lot better. Good luck. Great work, Chinny Mac. That's a that's a uh, worthy of a big applause. Couple of comments here on Facebook. Um, Kylie Martin saying that the background music is very relaxing. Oh yeah, very and zen, very chilled out. Yeah, now. it's quite nice. Feeling good. So if you'd like to join the uh, the the freelancer wellbeing group on Facebook, oh, yes. you can check it out. Here. <laughs> <laughs> No lower third, but if you go to Facebook and just search, I was going to say go to Facebook and Google. <laughs> go to Facebook and search Freelancer Wellbeing Lounge. Uh, Jin and her trusty sister, Maddie, who is a yoga instructor, uh, are putting a whole bunch of content in the Freelancer Wellbeing Lounge to keep us chilled out, zen and loose and limber during the day. Exactly. Yep, keep you energized, feeling your best so you can do what you need to do and enjoy the life that you want. Sweet. Yeah. There you go. Mm. Good. Are you in that group? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, cool. do you take some breaks regularly? Yeah. It's it's hard sometimes you get in the I, zone. I, I find myself <coughs> becoming why, my where's, computer. Where's the, where's the dog? Jeez. That's why I bring the dog to work most Oh, really? Of Where is the dog? Yeah. Lou. <laughs> where's oh, the dog? <laughs> Lou, is the dog in here or not? I don't, don't know. So. Anyway, no. that's why I bring the dog to work most days because uh, it gives me an excuse to get out and go for a walk during the middle of the day, get some vitamin D. Give you something to do, like look for the dog. Stretch the legs. <laughs> yeah. Clear the brain, clear yep. the head. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that you, Lucy? <laughs> Looks like the goat got the dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. Cool. So uh, we have something that um, we would like to share with you as well—a gold nugget for this week. Oh. So let's um, is that, let's. Is that this thing? Like, it's this little oh, thing. It's yeah, just right. off camera. Mm. So let's jump in. Time to dig into the gold nugget. Holy shit! That was a loud bumper. We're getting hey? into the gold nugget. Wakey, wakey! <laughs> that was a loud bumper. Hello, hello, anyone in uh, there? There we go. The link, by the way, if you're watching this video uh, live on Facebook or the oh, replay, cool. the link to the Freelancer Wellbeing Lounge is uh, in uh, next to the video here. <laughs> in Facebook. There it is. It's yeah. facebookcom slash group slash three zero six zero five seven eight four triple zero two zero three five. Got it. There it go. won't be repeated. Or just search Freelancer Wellbeing Lounge. Yep. So episode 91 of the podcast, uh, you interviewed Seth Godin and had Christina Romero on the line. True story. Yeah, for a bit of a, something a little bit different, not yeah. your usual interview. Yeah. Um, Can I tell you a story about this? Please do. Great. Let me tell you a story. Yeah. Let me tell you a story. When I was three, no, uh, I, well, I, I uh, yeah, we're going to go way back. <laughs> I was walking around the park. I was actually walking Lucy around the park listening to the uh, Growth Show podcast, which is put out by HubSpot. And Seth Godin was, Godin, Godin, I never know which it is, Godin, tomato, 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 Godin. Yeah. Um, he was on the podcast and I was just like, man, I'm just, like I've been a huge fan for a long time and I hadn't actually engaged with much of his content up until that point. You know, I would had a bit of a time off from engaging with his content. And um, I thought, man, he just continues to add so much value. I thought, bugger it, I'm going to reach out to him. So I emailed him and 
I said to him, hey Seth, uh, thank you so much for your interview on the HubSpot Growth Show. I love what you do, keep inspiring us all. I'd love to, and I knew this about him, he said he doesn't like being on other people's podcasts. He doesn't like being used mm. to build other people's podcast audiences up. Yeah, he doesn't right. like being used as a carrot, right? Yeah. So I said to him, um, I'd love to, uh, uh, lo- love to interview you on our podcast. I recently interviewed Guy Kawasaki and someone else. And I said, yes, I'm dropping names. And yes, I'd love to interview you on our podcast, but I don't want to interview you. Mm. I'd love you to come on, roll up your sleeves and help one of our students with a particular challenge in her business. Mm. Something and, a little different. Yeah, and he emailed me straight back within like five minutes and said, yes, as long as it's not like a shark tank kind of thing and you don't use me as a prize. And I said, done. So I already had Christina in mind, and so I emailed Christina and said, how would you like to be on the show, on the podcast with Seth Godin? Mm. She's like, oh, I'm pretty busy. She weed her pants, yeah. <laughs> and then said, uh, I'd love to. Yeah. Excellent. The mm. we came out yeah. for that one. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah. Amazing. So that was how easy that was. Yeah, yeah. So we, we do have a little, a little snippet from that. So and let's is, um, take a look at some of the happened. wisdom that Seth shared. Mm. Okay, so here's the first principle. The first principle is you should sell stuff to people who want to buy it. You mm-hmm. should sell stuff to people who have money to pay for it. <laughs> and those seem obvious, but they are almost never done. So let's think about it. If, if some person with a small business doesn't have a website yet, I think they've already demonstrated through their inaction that they uh, aren't ready to buy something like this because if they were, they would have bought it already. And mm-hmm. they don't have a lot of money to spend on it because they're viewing it as an expense, not an investment. If they thought that it was going to make them a lot of money, they would have bought it already. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to say, I'm going to run around getting pizza places and travel agencies and little small businesses to buy their first website. And I'm not saying that's what you're doing, right? But those are the very worst people in the world to call on. (laughs) You want to call on someone. You want to call on someone who's not spending their own money, but is spending the boss's money and who is busy buying something that they know will solve a problem for them. Oh, you know the real gold in that clip? Mm. My hair. <laughs> My hair was fantastic that day. The flood of comments. Look at them all. And Not none. <laughs> I, <laughs> and I, I spent a lot of time on my hair that day because I knew I was interviewing Seth and I was going to be on camera. Yeah, good to um, know. But, I mean, it's so, obvi- <laughs> it's so obvious, isn't it? You know. Um, oh, there we go. Christina's here. Timing. That's how's that. Christina's just had her fourth child. Wow. Uh, and she says, timing, just popped into Amazing. Facebook, feeding the newborn, yep. and here you are talking about me. <laughs> hello, wow. Christina. And no warning uh, at all. Big hello and a, a big hug uh, to your uh, big family that you've got there. Four children under yeah. the age of six and a half, I think. I think yeah, Wrigley, the oldest, is about six. Amazing. It's yeah, incredible. And running a business, multiple businesses, I believe. There we go. I hey, Christina, how, how are you doing? Do yeah, it. so so anyway, uh, I mean, so... The man, Seth Godin, is absolutely correct. Mm. And I had a conversation with someone recently uh, who is in WP Elevation, and they said, yeah, I'm going, I want to target yep. uh, all the, literally, literally said, I want to target all the local pizza shops and because all their websites are terrible, yep. and I want to sell them all websites. Yep. And I said, please don't do that. Please. Don't do Why? that. Why? <laughs> you are setting yourself up for lots of heartache yep. and disappointment, mm-hmm. and, uh, and it, it just don't do that. Mm-hmm. That's an opportunity to do something that's not a business opportunity. That's right. Mm. I feel like I noticed that all the parks are full of dog shit, so I thought that I would clean it all up. Yeah. That's my business model. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no one's going to pay you for that. Uh, and, it's just like and, that. And, and, and here's the other thing, the other big, the other big kind of... Um, like that. The other big um, <coughs> uh, heart moment that I've had over the years is just because you have the skills to help somebody and they don't have the budget to pay you accordingly, doesn't mean you're obliged to help them. You are not a community service. You are running a business and you owe it to yourself and everyone around you, including your family and your, um, your clients and your staff, to run a profitable business. So stop trying to help people who don't have money and don't value it. Mm. Yep, exactly. Mm. Yep. Now, interestingly, the loop, the loop back from that was about 30 days after that interview with mm. Seth, I promised that I would follow up. And we did actually publish another episode of the podcast where Christina and I jumped on. Yep. And she basically went all in on serving her existing clients 
more yep. rather than following new clients and had mm-hmm. amazing results. So check out the podcast. Just search for uh, Christina Romero on the WP Elevation it's podcast. Episode 94, I believe. Episode 94, yeah. there you go. I think so. And Christina, big heartfelt yeah. uh, uh, gratitude uh, for everything you've done for us here in our community over the years. And I hope you are going swimmingly well with a newborn. It's uh, I know what it's like having a newborn, not four, but I know what it's like having one newborn and it's an amazing period the first couple of months. Uh, I hope you're sleeping. I hope the rest of your children are sleeping well and I hope everything's going well there. Mm. Yeah. So, not to detract from Christina, but we do have a little bit of a giveaway. Seth has a book out at the moment Ooh. called This Is Marketing, um, Fresh Off The Shelves. And we will be giving away this book to a viewer. Uh, if you comment on the blog post when this comes out, am I holding it up again? Max did something. So He's telling th- me this to do is, stuff. This is, dun, 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 there we go. This is the blog post, the blog post for this episode. So yeah, we publish right. the episodes of Silence Is Golden as a blog post on the WPElevation.com website. And this is episode 44. 44. So when you when the episode of this is published, which will be in a couple of days, thanks tomorrow, to thanks to Maddie, I believe. Well, tomorrow, Next day maybe? Well, 24 oh, hour turnaround, fresh. that's fantastic. I know. Thanks to Maddie who does that. Uh, when Maddie publishes the episode of this on our blog, go and leave a comment on the blog and tell us. I was hoping you'd do that bit. <coughs> tell us. Oh, and tell us how many children you have. No, don't tell us how many children you have. Tell us. Uh, th- what? Your biggest takeaway you, from episode 91. Oh, you haven't figured um, this out already? No, no, no of course okay. not. I thought we'd just do Tell us the, your biggest takeaway from episode 91. The podcast. So watch that our, episode of our and podcast. let us know your biggest takeaway. Because it, it's amazing. That is one of the best episodes. It's just it is. incredible. So let's see if we can make this any more confusing for you. Your job, if to win this book, a signed copy of this book, which I'll talk about in a moment, a signed copy of this book, to win a signed copy of this book, watch episode 91 of the WP Elevation podcast featuring Christina Romero and Seth Godin, or Godin. Yep. Uh, and then tell us your biggest takeaway from that episode and leave a comment on episode 44 of Silence is Golden. That's not too bad. Uh, and the person that leaves the most interesting comment, or the one that we... Actually, we're just going to run a random counter number on it. There it we? is. Exactly. We're going to run a random counter number and on it and pick a winner. And you will win a signed copy of this book. Now, a couple of things here. We're making you jump through these hoops because we don't want to give this book to a lazy idiot. We want to give this book to someone who is willing to do the work and make the investment in their professional development. That's right. I just totally made that up. That's why we're making it complicated. Yeah. The second thing I need to tell you is that the signed copy of this book is signed by myself and Simon Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Seth did not sign this book. Which is probably the most ridiculous thing yeah. we've ever promised here. Yeah. There you go. So there you go. Yeah. This is marketing, <laughs> Seth Godin. Yeah, it's looking For good. Author of uh, uh, some of his other titles include All Marketing Are Liars, Permission Marketing, Poke the Box, which is probably my favourite title of a Seth Godin book and one of my favourite books, mm-hmm. uh, The Icarus Effect, Purple, Purple Cow, Cow. Yeah. Lynchpin. It's a great um, book. Lynchpin's a fabulous book, one of mm-hmm. my favourite books of all time, Lynchpin. Um, so uh, he's a dude. Get amongst it. Yeah. All right. Christina Romero says, hope I'm not disqualified from the book contest. I want that book. Of awesome. course you're not disqualified. No one's disqualified. That's right. So you can enter the competition, Christina. Uh, absolutely. As I was scouring the internet looking for some interesting things this week, I came across a couple of shiny tools and I have one to share with you right now. Get ready for Tool of the Week. And we're not Just talking the right Synchrome right Spanner, are we? No, not this time. No. no. Uh, this is Buffer have come out with a new tool. You know they came out with Pablo, which is like a yeah. little thing that can make social media images. It's like pretty cool, for pretty basic. Yeah, yeah, but I super like basic. Like yeah. it wasn't, yeah, it was just what you needed and nothing more pretty much. Yeah. They've come up with something similar for stories for Instagram and Facebook called Buffer Stories Creator. Mm. Uh, you can create thumb stopping stories, they say, uh, create for your clients and, uh, and you can check out, we got a clip, no, zero clip. Is it? Maybe. We'll have a little clip right now that we could play. Go, Team Max, nothing. No. Fine. Is it you, free? <laughs> it is free. Is yeah, it yeah. free? Yeah, you can jump on there. You can check it out without even having having a buffer account. Go create a story and then to save it, I think you need to sign up. Yeah, that's but right. It's this, good. Is, this, this is the This is the gateway drug. Try before you. The first one's free. To buffer. It's yeah, a gateway it. drug. Yeah. Exactly. This, they did this with Pablo as well. So you put together a great social image to share on social mm. and then, oh, to share it onto Facebook and Twitter and schedule it, then you'll need a buffer account. Mm. Uh, Which so, I think you can still use with the free account. Yeah, so buffer's it's, great. It's pretty we love buffer. good. Buffer. Yeah. All in for buffer. We yeah. love buffer. We love buffer. We yeah. need a hashtag. 
we love Buffer. Sure. If I just mentioned Buffer more <laughs> in the show, hopefully Maddie will reach out to Buffer and yeah, say, hey, yeah. we mentioned you 800 times in the show, and then they'll share this with their audience, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then that's how we grow our audience. Mm-hmm. Are we supposed to talk about this before we start recording, yeah. are we? Inside your thoughts. Sorry. Inside brain. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Internal, external. That's right. The filter doesn't... Yeah. I have a child and not much sleep, so the filter just... Christina knows what I'm talking about. There's no filter anymore. Yeah. It just comes out. Sometimes. Oh, we do have a, we have a clip. We have a clip for Buffer Stories Creator. Cool. Max has just pulled a clip out of his ass, Let's and have we a have a clip here. Let's see how it works. Think of that promo video, Max. That was not bad, hey. <laughs> Who, where did that come from so quickly? He's good. They're both good. How did you put that together so quickly? If I told you I'd have to kill you. If you told me you'd have to kill me. Great answer from Max. Yeah. The second thing I want to say is how damn fine was that music? It was good. Yeah. That yeah. music was good. Now, did we put that, that together or is that actually a buffer <laughs> video? <laughs> that together to promo that that's a buffer video. it's a buffer that's video. An official right yeah yeah the budget well for this done. episode didn't allow for that right type. well done Spent Ben Skeepers and Max Jeffcott spelt Jeff coat uh, but pronounced Jeff Cott. well done for putting that together so quickly good work there you go. I'm impressed buffer stories creator mm-hmm exactly now here's the thing I've a question for you though about buffer stories creator hit me if you are not creative at all and you have nothing of value to say mm-hmm. will it still create a thumb stopping story for you I have no idea. Or do you have to have I, some I kind to, um, of idea about what it is you're trying to communicate yeah, to your audience? I think that you've got to have a message that right. makes yeah. sense. It's just going to put a right. nice skirt on your message. Lost bit of lipstick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, double okay. it up a little bit. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Understand. Thank you for yeah. clarifying. You, can't, you sit there, you're like, huh, I'm always it's not looking, working. It's I'm not always, working. Yeah, I'm always, that's right. Come on, do something. Create <laughs> yeah. a story for me. Yeah. I'm always looking for the cheat. The ah, just bypass all of yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just looking for the shortcut. Always yeah, yeah. looking for the shortcut. Yeah. $10 million business in a box there for we go. five bucks. Maybe it'll be on that That's 99% right. off. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Courtesy of Cards with Humanity. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Uh, so the next segment, we have a couple of people that sometimes get stuck in our community, so we'll see if we can help them. Let's get unstuck. This... Mm, on. This week's episode comes from Carmen Clammer, who says, ah, yes. at the moment, I'm a bit plagued with the question whether starting a 1,500 euro, uh, having 1,500 euro as the minimum price is too high. Yeah, how good's that? Where did that come from? Yeah. How did we get that comment up there? <laughs> how did, how You'll how have does, to get killed again, remember? How does that work? Yeah. Is what's, that using what's the, happening? Is that using the Facebook comment? No. It's not. We did that ourselves, did we? Yeah. yeah. Live stream. You've got one job. Right, one your Facebook bar- comments plug in. It. One good. job yeah. doesn't work. We're going to create our own. Yeah. So she's wondering if the fifteen hundred is uh, as a minimum price is too high. Too high. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> and well, wait. Listen to the reason. Well, wait. As I haven't made many WordPress sites yet, about ten or so, but only about four clients. So it's only business. My target client is holistic practitioners, and it seems they don't want to pay much. The I mean, um, the iPad's not plugged in for screen sharing, is it? No. If it was, Carmen, I would blow your mind. Uh, <laughs> but it's... Th- uh, you want me to screen share it over here? Really? Oh, stop it! Okay. All right. Carmen. Carmen Clamour. This one is for you, my friend, because um, I'm about to blow your mind. So, uh, let me see if I can just do this. Uh, talk amongst yourselves for 23 seconds. Cool. And let me see if I can pull something up here, Max. I'm going to try and... I'll, I'll do the old quick time trick, hey, Max? So, we'll do this. And we'll go here, and we'll go blah, blah, blah. Let's have a drink. Talk amongst <laughs> yourselves for a second. Yeah. Um, this, uh, because, there we go, we don't want to do that. We want to go here. All right. Doing some, some drawing. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw some stuff. Because he here's, here's, the, here's, the, um, here's the thing, right, about... Pricing and discounting. I'm going to prove to you right now, Carmen, why dropping your price 
is a stupid idea and will actually make it harder for you to get clients, right? I'm about to prove this to you right now, Carmen, that dropping your price, discounting, is gonna make it harder for you to get clients. Max, do you want me to go full screen here? What do you want me to do? Uh, That's good. Is that good? Leave it like that? Perfect. So I might just need you to, uh, how about if I just scroll up a little bit? There we go, how's that? There we go. Can you scroll down a bit maybe, Max? Shift that up just a touch. Um, because, yeah. here we go. Look at right. that. So, uh, check this out. Here's the thing. When we first start out, we start out selling, there, there is a direct correlation between what somebody will pay you for a website and what they earn, right? So when we first start out, let me just give you some rough numbers as, as an example, right? You might be dealing with people who are earning less than 500k for a website and they'll be paying you you know less than uh, 3k for a website now if they're earning say uh, 1 million then they might be happy to pay you uh, you know 5 to 10k right if they're earning 2 mil they might be willing to pay you you know 15k and if they're earning 10 mil plus well, if you're not charging them, you know, 25K or more, they'll laugh you out of the room. Now, here's the thing. Uh, most, when we first start out, most of us operate in this space here, right? And that's because it's comfortable and it's safe. We know how to sell a website for, you know, anything up to sort of $3,000. Uh, it's our comfort zone. And uh, anything more than that seems a little bit scary, right? So most of us, start here. I'm not an artist, by the way, or a designer, so please forgive my bad sketches, but uh, most of us start out here, right? So there's lots of web consultants happily serving clients in this area. Well, maybe they're not happy, maybe they're struggling a bit because uh, it's really competitive, right? Because there's lots of people selling websites to these people who don't have a lot of money. And this is what we call the majority Right, this is the majority. Now, the truth is, there are also a few people selling websites in this bracket here. And there are also people selling websites in this bracket here, and there are also people selling websites out here. As the bands move out, the competition gets fewer and fewer because most people are scared to break through this line here, right? And the reason is because they have bought into the myths that no one will spend more than $3,000 on a website or replace that number with whatever number is stuck in your head, $5,000, $10,000, whatever. When I started out, I was like, no one will spend more than 10, no one will ever pay me 10 grand for a website. That was the myth that I believed and that is what kept me stuck in here playing with everyone else, right? However, once I'd sold my first website for $10,000, I understood the truth. And the truth is that there are plenty of people that will spend more than $10,000 on a website. So what happened is I jumped the line here and I jumped the line here and I jumped the line here. And then I started selling websites for 12,000 and 15,000 and 20,000 and 25,000, right? And the myth didn't apply anymore because I debunked the myth because I'd proven the truth. Now here's the kicker, Carmen. The cheaper you are, the more competitive it gets. So more, more people in the world sell websites for $500 than any other price point. So if you are currently selling websites for $1,500 and you drop your price to 1,000, it gets more competitive, which means it's actually going to be harder for you to get clients if you drop your price. The problem that you've got is not a pricing problem. The problem that you've got is that you are, one, talking to the wrong clients, as Seth mentioned in that clip before. You're talking to people who don't value what it is you do, so stop talking to them because you're wasting everyone's time. And second of all, you're not offering them anything mind-blowingly unique. And if you're presenting yourself as a web designer or a web developer or a WordPress implementer or someone who knows how to build WordPress websites, you're a commodity. And I can hire you on Upwork for $20 an hour. So you've got to develop a unique offering and offer it to people who have the capacity, the financial capacity to pay what you are worth 
and can get a return on that investment. Dropping your price will make things harder for you and will actually, it will be harder for you to get clients. Mic yeah. drop right there. There we go. Mm-hmm. Screen share over. Mm. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Max is giving a silent clap. Jared says, are those devil horns? Yes, they were devil horns. I was drawing on the people, uh, otherwise known as curly hair, but it was devil horns. That's exactly right. So, Carmen, I hope you're watching this at some point. In fact, we should tag her in. I might do that right now. I might just tag Carmen in uh, if she's watching. Um, I'll do that later because I can't find her here. I've, I've messaged her. Oh, have you? Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. There you go. So well done, Carmen. I hope that answers your question. Mm. And thanks, Max, for making the tech work and letting me draw on the iPad. Yep, exactly. It's always fun, isn't it? And if you would like to level up your WordPress game, level up your business, join us on the webinar. You can see uh, get.wpelevation.com slash better dash Oh, nice beans. call to action, brother. Well done. Well planned. Jeez, you'd think this was rehearsed, wouldn't you? Um, well. And also, if you want to learn more about this stuff, join our Facebook group. We have a free Facebook group called Digital Mavericks. Just go to facebook.com and type Digital Mavericks into the search. There's about, I don't know, 3,700 or 800 people in that Facebook group right now. It's totally free. We teach a whole bunch of cool stuff in there. Exactly. I think you can go wplinks.io slash FB group. There we or go. Or take you somewhere completely random. Oh, hey, oh there God. we go. It's all over it. Stop it. Anyone to think, oh, this is live television, kids. This is not rehearsed. Yeah. This is live television. That's why we're about three hours over time. So we're going to have to wrap it up there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your grandma, tell everyone, tag someone in you think would find this useful. Hi, Nana. Don't forget about the competition. So when the blog post is published, comment in and let us know your biggest takeaway of episode 91 of the podcast. Let us know. This is uh, episode 44 of Silence is Golden. So comment Love. on the blog is the Love key it. right there. Next month we'll be in our sprint month, which is exciting. And we'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll just talk to you guys. Um, and the hashtag, the focus will be on closing the loop. So we've got some great content coming up for you with that. Um, we also have a special guest for the webinar on the 7th of December, which is awesome. Ooh. You can go to wplevation.com slash learn to sign up. Don't have a link for that, but that's fine. And um, yeah, that's uh, very exciting. See you, see you all next week. Now, in other news, before we sign yeah, off, sure. in other news, I'm going to milk this for every second I can. In other news, we are coming to the United States of America mm -hmm. in February 2019 for a live event. Yeah. That's right. Digital Mavericks presents Silence is Golden Live. I just made that up. Now we're gonna have to figure out how to do I'm it. Just hearing it. Digital Mavericks presents and WP Elevation presents Silence is Golden live next February in Newport Beach, California, February 12, Tuesday, February 12, 2019. Next week on the show, we will be announcing details on how you can get tickets to the Digital Mavericks event presenting Silence is Golden Live. Myself and Simon will be wow. there in the flesh to carry on like pork chops and answer all of your questions and help you in your um, in your business. That sounds awesome. Looking Very forward exciting, to it. isn't it? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I can't wait. Mm. So stick around for that. We'll see you next week on the show. Uh, love having your company. Uh, feel free to leave us a comment. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. Do all that crazy shit. Uh, just don't look for us on Snapchat because we're not there. Uh, until next week, my name is Troy Dean. I'm Simon Kelly, and remember, knowledge is power, and silence is golden. Yeah.